Smallwood on that byline on the City right, touches it forward to Halliday, inside to Scott Banks, City looking to Bill, Banks returns that ball to Halliday, into the final third now, into the area to oh Cook, goal for Bradford City! Andy Cook turning, right-footed strike, the goalkeeper had no chance, and Andy Cook with his seventh goal of the season, give the Bantams the lead, brilliant return ball to Brad Halliday, who under pressure got the cross into the area, and Andy Cook from around seven, eight yards out, well turning on his right foot, he doesn't miss those Andy Cook, he doesn't need to be asked quite twice, deserved, maybe not at the moment, but Mark Hughes and those Bradford City players and those fans across Valley Parade and further afield, they won't care one jolt because they've persevered, they've weathered the storm Bradford City and they've got their reward. Four minutes remaining of this first half, it's Bradford City 1, Walsall 0. Well, that's what I meant, Louis, about the opportunity was there for Bradford. There was there was holes in certain areas of the field, and the way Walsall were playing, they're so attacking, they're so aggressive in their press. There was opportunities there to be taken, and Bradford weren't taking them. In that instance, honestly, if you take that goal back, that was an unbelievable team goal, because Smallwood's movement with Levi Sutton in the build-up to that goal was fantastic. Scott Banks comes in off the line, Halliday gets round him, literally textbook football it was it was a beautiful beautiful goal